Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book, Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 72 and the question is number 7. 7 reads, the particle is projected from a point on a horizontal plane with initial velocity 10 i hat plus 78 j hat meters per second. And we're asked to find the time when it reaches its maximum height above the plane. So, we notice first of course the gravity, uh, the xy plane and the unit vectors as normal. Next we sketch the motion. We sketch it on a velocity time diagram. Velocity measured in meters per second, time measured in seconds. Remember of course what goes on the y-axis is stated first. This, so a time velocity diagram would have t up here and v down here. So the first thing is we draw u the initial velocity vector which is equal to u sub x i hat plus u sub y j hat. We know that this vector is in both axes, as in it's got components in both axes, so it is a resultant vector and we need to resolve it into its component unit vectors as normal. Each of these vectors is just in one particular dimension. So this is u sub y, this is u sub x like that. We're told that u sub y is equal to 98 and u sub x is equal to 10. Next thing we need to do is start analyzing the motion using u vast. So we talk about each axis, x and y. We need to fill in the information we know. We know this is 10, this is 98, this is g, and this is 0. You now time for both is t, that's unchanged. Next thing we need to do is fill in the other bits of information that we know. Using the formula v is equal to u plus a t, this is just 10, and this is 10 t. This is u plus g t, this is u t plus a half g t squared. Like so, we're asked to find the time when it reaches its maximum height above the plane. And once again, remember when it's reached its maximum height above the plane, it has come to rest, and therefore v sub y is equal to zero. So this here, v sub y is equal to zero. So we have v sub y equal to zero is equal to 98 plus gt. So therefore minus 98 over minus 9.8 is equal to t is equal to 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds it's come to its maximum height above the plane. Like so. Let's just check that question 7. 10 seconds is correct. And we're asked to find its horizontal range. No, we're not. We're asked to find, excuse me, I read question 8 there, the position vector at this time. So what we need to do is find the position at this time. So 10 seconds, let's apply that to s sub y, s sub x, excuse me. So that becomes 10 times 10 is equal to 100 i hat. And similarly, s sub y becomes 98 times 10 minus 4.9 times uh, 10 squared. So that's 980 minus uh, 490. Alright, so that's equal to 490 j hat. Like so, is that correct? Yes, so therefore the position vector r is equal to r sub x i hat plus r sub y j hat. And that's equal to, uh, it's equal to 100 i hat plus 490 j hat like so. So that's that. Thanks for watching, please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.